saw an interesting question in the Articulate community today from a Storyline user who wondered if there's a way to customize the color choices that are available when you apply a glow to an object. Now, if you've used Storyline before, you might know that you can select an object on your slide, come up to the Format tab, and then go to either Picture Effects or Shape Effects, depending on what you're working with, and then choose Glow. And that's going to give you a bunch of different color choices here. And as I hover over these, you can see how my character is changing to reflect you know, the item that I'm hovering over. And when I see the one I want, I can click it, and then the glow gets applied. Well, that's cool, but this user was wondering if there's a way to apply a different color glow. In his case, he wanted to actually use a white color for the glow because he had a dark background like I've got here. Totally makes sense. And it's actually really easy to do because these glow color options are coming from your course's design theme, and that's totally customizable. In fact, if I hover over these options, see how there's a tooltip that says accent color one, accent color two, three, four, and so on? All I would need to do is change one of those items in my uh, design theme, and then I could you know, apply a white glow very easily. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do is come up to the design tab in Storyline, and then choose colors, and if you're currently using a custom color theme, um, it's going to appear in this top section of the list under custom. And what you can do is right click on that custom theme that you're using and then choose edit. But in my case, I'm using actually one of the built-in color themes that's called office. And if that's the case for you, uh, the built-in color themes can't be edited. So what you'll want to do instead is come down here and choose create new theme colors. And when you do that, you'll see this window. And this is the same window that would appear if you were editing a custom color theme as well. It works the exact same way. So here's all the stuff that I can change. And the, listed right in the middle, you'll see the six accent colors that were represented in you know, those choices for my glow uh, dropdown. And I can change any one of these, and then I'll be able to select that color from my glow option. So let's just go with uh, this last one here, accent six. It's right now orange, and we're going to change it to white. And if you're uh, creating a new color theme, you could give this theme a new name if you want to, or just go with the default name. It's up to you. We'll go with the default because I'm just going to delete this in a minute. So we'll click Save. And now, once we do that, we can select our character again or our shape that we're working with. We'll go to our Effects, choose Glow. And now our choices are different. This column here used to be orange, and now it's white. And we click on any of those options in the white column, then we get this white glow that's applied to our character. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you do modify your color theme, it might affect other things where you've used that particular accent color. For example, if I insert a shape on my slide, um, sometimes when you draw a shape you might come up to the format tab and you'll have these you know, ready-made choices here for different colors. These two are coming from your uh, course's design theme and here's the white choice that we just changed you know on this theme this used to be orange and now it's white so if you have anything where you've used that particular accent color and then you change it then those items that you you know changed to that accent color are going to change as well so that's just something to keep in mind so that's one way that you can apply a white glow another way is um, to actually just apply a white shadow now usually when you select an object and come up to the Format tab and go to your Effects and choose Shadow, the shadow is going to be gray, right? Because that's kind of what's usually most natural is a gray shadow. Um, and in this case, if we apply a shadow, we'll just do the offset center. It's not even going to be visible because we're on this black background. But what's cool is we can modify that shadow to be white. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got my character selected, and I can go back up to Picture Effects and then choose Shadow again. And right down here at the bottom, I have an option called Shadow Options. And that's going to open up this window where I can change the color of my shadow to something other than black. So we'll change it to white. And initially, it's not going to show up a lot here, but you can change these uh, sliders down here below until you get the effect that you want. And it's going to probably require that you back off the transparency a bit. Now you can see it a little bit. We'll change the size here. Um, let's just up this a little bit. Now you can see it even a little bit more. Um, the blur, I'm going to bring that up a little bit as well. And uh, how about the angle? We'll just uh, we'll leave that where it is. And then the distance, you can modify that as you like. So you can play around with those options. And that's going to give you a similar effect, but uh, maybe with a little bit more control. And that would be um, an option if you didn't want to modify your uh, color theme that you're using for your course.